or labor demand in Singapore is slowing, according to third quarter stats from the Manpower Ministry. Total employment grew at a slower pace, while job vacancies declined for the sixth consecutive quarter as the economic outlook weakened. Over 4,000 workers lost their jobs, the highest since the last quarter of 2020. And most came from the wholesale trade sector as businesses cited cost concerns as one of the reasons for cutting workers. The wholesale sector itself is really uh, you know, about purchasing and then distribution. It's a very traditional business. The fact that digitalization is happening, uh, consumers are having more powers at their fingertips today. And I think you know, that's perhaps maybe driving uh, individual consumers to really then go directly to some of these wholesale sectors. But there might be brighter skies ahead. For one, more retrenched workers were also able to find jobs within six months, especially those aged between 50 and 59. Unemployment rates also remained stable and low at 1.9 percent. While the number of job vacancies fell, there's still a high ratio of vacancies to job seekers. For every unemployed person, there was more than one job opportunity. That's higher than the pre-pandemic period. Job openings were mainly in growth sectors like information and communications and health and social services, which tend to pay higher wages. Still, one analyst says companies are getting more cautious in hiring as the new year approaches. We might be moving to 2024, uh, whereby you know, currently there are still a lot of uh, economic headwind chatter that is happening. Uh, so I think it's just a matter of being prudent and taking a look at what's happening. I hope that it, uh, you know, people will just be uh, mindful in terms of the skill sets that they require.